currently working on a Mercedes Benz that has an issue with the center control knob here. So this little outer ring commands up here and it should move those items left and right. So as I flick this back and over, you should be getting tabs moving. Now you can bypass that by pushing across. And as you can see, that's rotating each way. But we're going to be repairing that today. We're going to be fixing this issue. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the step-by-step -step process on how I resolve that issue. Okay, so the first thing is, if you do have that issue, you can kind of get around it to a degree by just pressing back it over on it. So you'll be able to at least select some settings that you want in the meantime. Uh, but this center controller knob, so this central uh, scroll knob, has an issue where a shaft breaks down in the centerpiece. So what we need to do is we need to take out enough uh, parts around here to allow access to remove this button. And then we strip down this whole controller button and we repair the damaged part. So I'm going to be doing that step by step now. Okay, so to remove this button here, we're going to have to get access to it. So pop open your glove box, take out this little pouch that's in there. You're going to have a Torx head T20, I believe, that needs to be taken out. We need to remove this center section here. So I've got a little trim tool here. I'm just going to slide it underneath. Pop up and then that comes out of position. So now that I've that up a little position, I'm gonna take, I'm using my impact, but you can obviously use anything that you have. T20, pop that in my tray. So I have the torque head removed now, the next thing I'm gonna take is this section out here. So if we slide to the side, this top section splits and uh, what I'm going to do is use a trim tool and just come in the side here Now with any trim piece that's sitting down for a long time, especially when you have a coffee holder, a drink holder beside it, you could be up against stuff that has been stuck down the side and just be cautious to make sure that you're gripping all the way along. And if you don't, you'll probably crack the uh, plastic at some stage. So just be cautious, keep leveraging in different areas. If you wanna see, that is the retaining clips that's holding it in position. So you have one big one there, you have multiple on the side, and you can see all the crud, which would have been helping it to stay down in position. Now we're gonna to have to get this up out of the way because there's gonna be something holding this button in the down position. Yep, so does this come up? Okay, so we need to take this out next. Okay, so I gave that a wipe down as well. I like to kind of clean as I go, make it better than what it was as it goes back in. But as you can see here, there's kind of a screw definitely down on that side. So we're going to be pulling up on this section here, getting it out of, out of its position. Pops up like that. T20 as well. Okay, so in my instance, I decided to take a bit more out. You certainly don't have to. This is the controller just pulled up out of position. It's got a ribbon cable on it that flows 
down and underneath and up and along. Now, on this section down here, there's going to be a hook, which you have to come in on the underside here to actually disconnect it from it so you can pull it through. On the end of this room and cable, then there's a, a connector that you just have to unplug and it's good to go. But I'm going to, before I do all that, I'm just going to give some cleaning and wiping down to all this and then I'm going to pull that ribbon cable down out of that bracket out of the way disconnect it and we have this controller in the out position then okay so I pulled the carpet out of position just in that section here and used a trim tool just to push down and pull back quite straightforward then so up the top side this clip just sits down into that bracket which you push that and, and then you push down and then there's another clip on the other end that you just push in and pull up. So that's very easy to remove on that side. On the other side is a bit more difficult. That ribbon cable is rooted in and it flows around a bracket on the underside. That bracket on the underside is visible just up there you just see there see that spring clip and that is keeping it up in position but that spring clip is quite tight and it's difficult to pull the ribbon out while keeping tension down on that so probably have to set the camera down but the uh, mission will be to pull down while grabbing the cable and trying to flatten it you want the ribbon cable to be flat if it's if it starts to bunch up it's going to be harder so trying to keep it completely flat and sliding it down and past that so as you can see there it's starting to bunch up that's because of this other cable here maybe if i take that other cable out first actually it might be easier so I'm just gonna have a little bit of a play in there to get that out and then we'll be able to pull out the controller so I made a bit more room I pulled the cable down out of position and I pulled the other wire out of the way so I only have I only have the uh, ribbon cable left in the bracket now so and you can see I have the hook wedged under it right there and I got enough room and the ribbon cable was able to push down past it. I also disconnected this cable um, because I thought it might give me a bit of extra room maneuvering it out. Certainly not necessary but uh, if anything I think it may be in my way more that I did but I can put that back in afterwards I'm just going to move it. If anybody wants to take that out, it's a, this is the retainer clip, so that sits down on this. So you push in on the back and you pull um, the clip upwards and then it retracts back. Um, the reason I took it because it plugs in down here and I thought I would have a bit of extra room for the ribbon cable to come out. Now I'm just pushing with my thumb and my fingers here to get it past which to be honest it isn't easy this is a difficult way of rooting it through and it's going to be a bit of a challenge putting it back in again but now we have it in the out position i'm going to put this up on the bench and get this ready to work on this comes apart and that Okay, so this is being a challenge to say the least. Now, this center needs to push down and that is to pull up. This is what I have set myself up with to try and get it out. I have a little plastic piece here and I put it in the center, compressed it in the vise gently. Now, knowing that that's gonna compress so it's not gonna to put too much pressure on it and then I'm gripping either side and I'm finally starting to get an actual movement on the edge if you can see there so I've got my first bit of movement 
and it's only because I have it situated like this. I'm going to keep at this, I'm going to rock it back and over. And finally I got it off, but not without some scare tissue. There's some markings on it now. I had to leverage so hard to get this up. And if you look in the bottom, it is marked up quite a bit. It did eventually come off, but that was absolutely seized on there. Um, there is some markings there, but I don't really think I could have got away without doing some of it. I was using these on the underside, trying to pry it up from them clips. But ultimately it was stuck. I'm gonna try and take this one out now and then that cap and then we can disassemble. T8. Lights up. So to remove the outer clips, you have to push in like that, free them out on both sides, and this little rocker comes out. Now, to free the inside, you have to pull back on this tab. And you do that with them all. So once you have all them four out, you just have to feed the ribbon up through and then the circuit board comes off. There we can see the broken piece. And finally we have found the broken piece. That's the reason why it stopped working and that's the reason why we have a failure in that scroll controller. And here is the new piece that we got.
So we put this back in now. That slides down there. And then this black plastic top, which sits into those little rubbers. And onto that. That sits on top, and then you have it sitting back together there. So, just going to put back in all these screws now. If only it came off as easy as it went back on. Okay, gonna put in the last ones here and then it's back in the car. Nearly all back together now. I'll just show you on the underside here how I hooked it under. And if you can see there where the clip is, that ribbon cable is now sitting back in where it should. And everything is tightened down and put back the way that it was uh, rooted coming out. So we just got to put this carpet back in. Okay, so last thing is moment of truth. Is this now solved? Wait for the screen to come up here. Okay, and and yes it is. We now have movement right across. We're able to select back. Perfect. All right, and that is it for this video, guys. A quite involved job, especially coming near the end of that when I was trying to remove that top case and extremely difficult. But that is the things you come across when you're trying to do involved jobs. You can have stuff that is stuck. You can have plastic clips that don't want to come out. If you want to save money on doing jobs like this, you may find yourself spending more labor than you thought you would have but in the end we have an extremely cheap fix rather than replacing that whole controller unit so if you're doing it yourself and you're not paying a professional to do it this could be a very good option for you really hope you enjoyed this video hope you found it useful and informative if you did please like share comment and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next one thanks for watching <laughs>